This month's antique sale has a few items that used to belong to the Princess Margaret um, and appeared for auction at Christie's in 2006, so a number of years ago, and um, Viscount Linley was offering a number of items for sale and I think it was to raise money for taxes and they were sold through Christie's and it was a hugely successful sale. It was toured around the world and on the day of the sale there were a thousand people at the auction packed into, into four sale rooms and everything was making huge amounts of money. And this little collection of items were purchased at that sale and we're lucky enough to have the opportunity to sell them again as that person is now wanting to sell them here. And there are some beautiful and interesting historic items here. Now the first thing here we have is this um, aquamarine brooch by John Donald. It was made in 1967 and was worn by Princess Margaret. Um, it's a very stylish retro piece of jewellery with a natural aquamarine that's facet cut. Um, you can see it there and on the reverse are the hallmarks here and also you won't be able to see, there is a tiny little um, M here, which is the Margaret's um, crest, which was engraved on all her jewellery. And you can see the certificate of authenticity um, that goes with it, that was produced um, for the sale at Christie's in 2006, that's signed by Lindley, and the photo of the, the brooch there as well. And this we have estimated at uh, five to, well, anywhere between five and 10,000 for that piece of jewellery. It made a lot more than that back in 2006. And with it is, well, not with it, but uh, we're also offering this ruby and diamond brooch, which is a much older piece of jewellery. So this will be probably late 19th century. And the date on the lid is 1931, but it's certainly an older piece of jewellery than that. Um, it, 19, Princess Margaret was born in 1930, so this was possibly a, a gift, um, possibly a, a christening gift. Um, and again, it has the certificate of provenance that goes with it, signed by Lindley. And again, we're estimating this at the same amount. It's between five and 10,000 for that um, beautiful piece of jewellery. Still very wearable, both of these pieces, but very different, aren't they? This, when it came up for sale at Christie's, made not far off £30,000. So we'll see where that goes. The other item that we have is this silver hussar. And there he is. So that was in the same sale. Uh, it's William IV, it's solid silver. And it was presented, um, there's a little plaque on the base, to their colonel in chief, the Princess Margaret, on the occasion of her marriage um, from all ranks the 5th and 19th, the King's Royal Hussars, 6th of May, 1960. And that was, again, there's the certificate of provenance that goes with it. And that, I think, sold for close to £15,000 in the auction. And the estimate here is five to 8000 And the other item that came from the Royal Collection is this interesting group of um, ballet books, very different items, but this was all one lot. And every book here was presented to Princess Margaret. And this one here is inscribed by Margot Fontaine. And all these other books go with it as well. So, and all signed by the authors and the dancers. Lynn Seymour, Beryl Gray. Quite a few in one lot there. And they're going to be between two and 3,000, the estimate, for that little collection. So that's really exciting to sell something with that sort of provenance behind it. And hopefully lots of people are going to come and have a look. And I'll just show you a few of the other nice things that we've got in this sale, but particularly jewellery this time. We've got a fantastic selection of jewellery. Had quite a few um, private people that have turned up with interesting things to sell. And um, here are a few that we've dug out here. Just a few of the star lots. So this beautiful Art Deco diamond line brooch. And so it's, it's a 1920s period brooch in its original fitted box as well. And it's in platinum, and I should think there's between one and one and a half carat total weight of diamonds in that, but they're absolutely beautiful, they're flawless diamonds, and we think that's probably going to be around a thousand or so for that. This is a Marquise diamond, 
It's in an illuminated box. It's not actually glowing like that <laughs> naturally. But again, they are absolutely beautiful diamonds. The central one is one and a half carats. The outer ones are half carat each. So two and a half carats in total. And it, it's absolutely beautiful, even when you take it out of that lit box. It really sparkles. And uh, that, again, has come in privately. Um, it's insured for 25,000 and or I have an insurance document that goes with it for 25,000. The estimate is six to 8,000 for that. So really good value when you look at auction prices here. Another st stunning piece of jewelry here is this sapphire and diamond cluster. And that's a five carat sapphire in there. It's absolutely beautiful color. And there's about one and 1.2 carats at least of diamonds around the outside edge, but that's Fabulous coloured sapphire there. That really does sparkle, doesn't it? That's a, that's a lovely thing there. And that, the estimate is five to seven thousand for that one, but it, and it's well worth that. Should be should be a fair bit more than that, I should think. So hopefully, lots of competition for these things. Got some interesting watches this time as well. There's a ladies' diamond and gold Rolex there, all in eighteen karat gold, and the strap as well. That's a nice thing, and um, a Breitling, um, there it is, a, it's a nice vintage Breitling there, it's in quite nice condition isn't it? And that should be two to three thousand for that one. And we'll just have a quick look around at a few other things, it's a, it's a two day sale, so art and antiques, so we have a picture sale on, the, on next Thursday, and a few of these things are in that sale as well, this is interesting, this is a Banksy. And this is called the Walled Off Hotel. So Banksy owns a hotel um, on the wall, or right next to the wall, bordering Jerusalem and Palestine. And you can buy his works of art from his gift shop in his hotel, which is convenient, isn't it? But you have to be a resident in the hotel to buy these things. So with this item, which actually has a piece of the wall in in the picture as well. That is part of the, uh, the concrete wall of, in Jerusalem. Uh, I've got a box of odds and ends from the hotel as well, like soaps and a receipt and sweets and <laughs> all sorts. They're all part of this lot here. And that, that's estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. That is a lot, of, a lot of Banksy works out there, but I think that's a good one. Um, we've got a genuine Turner in here. It's a JMW Turner, tiny little painting of a country house, but from a very good collection from Andrew Wilde's personal collection this. It's a very good painting that. And also a genuine constable there as well. And we think this is probably the Cookmere Haven. That's a genuine uh, crayon and watercolour by constable there. It's a nice thing as well. The estimates on these, we're expecting five to 8,000 for the Turner and something over 10,000 for the Constable. So we've got some fantastic things this time. We'll just have a quick look over here. Just glanced over here and we've got um, some lovely old dinky toys here, which just shows the, the range of things we get here. There's a man from uncle thrush buster <laughs> over there. And we've got the Batmobile and the bat boat that tows behind it. Which I don't remember seeing that in the films. <laughs> and actually, I'll show you something else here. This, this is really interesting. So this is cycling related. Now this whole collection of medals all were awarded to this chap here, who was Sidney Hulbert. And his dates are on the back of this. So he's born in 1876, died in 1948. So that's a photograph of him which will be about 1900. There's a photograph of him as well with the Bath Road Club, and that's him there. This is in 1921. So obviously that's a fair bit before that. And these are all his medals. And what a rider he must have been. This is uh, some great medals in here. Quite a lot of solid gold ones and enamel. Uh, and there are all sorts in there. This one is for London to Brighton and back on a trike. And it tells you how fast he did it. There, there are endurance racing 
medals there for 100 miles on a trike and 100 miles on a tandem. And every one of them is fascinating. They're all engraved with um, prizes and achievements. Every, every one of them on the back has an engraved inscription. There we are. This is 1906. And it's a trike record, S. Hulbert, um, 170 and three quarter miles. Amazing. So that's a lovely lot there. All from a, from a private local family um, who were related to him. And that's all offered as one collection there. And very difficult to value. These are extremely rare to find these. Even individual ones of these are very rare to find. But let alone solid gold medals of that sort of period. So estimate is two to three thousand, but I expect a lot of interest in those, so I think they could make a significant amount more than that. We'll just have a quick scoop around the room, and I'll just show you a few more little things here. There's quite a lot, quite a lot of uh, glassware up here, studio glass. A big collection of studio glass on here. Just heading towards some more cycling interesting things here. Now these six chairs here, which are designed by Mies van der Rohe, and they are they're very new, they're, they're only about five years old these, but if you want to buy one of these now, they would cost you, I've actually got a receipt here for one of them, so new, these are £1,340 each. There they are, so what are they? £7,000 for a set of six of those if you want to buy them now. This is leather upholstery on chrome. Estimate is about £1,000 for the whole set. And they're absolutely immaculate. And another slightly retro thing is this magnificent dining table here. So this is 1950s Danish. Now look at the hinge on this. I'll just show you the... Uh, show you the so look at that hinge. That's amazing. Beautifully made. Very stylish table. I do like these oval dining tables. It's really good to sit at an oval table there. That one... If you wanted to buy that, there's another one for sale at the moment for about just over £10,000. This one we're thinking around two, 2000 something like that. This is interesting, I think. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's just a, a pedestal, just a wooden pedestal, but in the, inside the top, um, there's a letter here that says, this is to certify that the log of wood sent to you was cut from a tree felled by the Right Honourable W.E. Gladstone. The ex Prime Minister, this is 1887, from his estate office at Hoarden. And that um, covers the letter up there. <laughs> I don't know what use that is. And the other cycling things that we have are these posters, which are extremely rare things. Now, these date to about 1910, and there's really nothing that you can buy in the poster world for cycling from that period. Unfortunately, this one has had a big section cut out of the front that we don't have. So this one really needs cropping and framing. But what a magnificent image that is. They're the uh, French police taking receipt of their Saint-Étienne bikes there. And there's a stamp on here from 1911. And this is a poster for Armour Bikes. And it features Christophe who was the winner of the Tour de France in 1912. He won the first Tour de France. So this is a poster from that time, from the same year as the first Tour de France. Isn't that an amazing thing? Needs some TLC, this. It needs framing and lining, because it is starting to tear a bit. It's got some holes, but it's definitely restorable, that one. Very difficult to value, because you'd never find another one. Estimate is a few hundred, but it could do a lot better than that. So few really interesting things in this time so well worth keeping an eye so if you have a look now it's all on the website multiple photos of everything in the sale so please have a look through the viewing is on Monday from 9 till 5 and on Tuesday from 9 till 7 
and the sale is on Wednesday for the antiques and pictures are on the Thursday. So please have a look through and come and have a look round. Thank you very much.